Hi, everyone, and welcome to this 10-minute breakout session. I'm going to be talking to you today about Cloud Native Stack with Infrastructure as Code and Intersight. My name is Vladun Gurano. I am a technical solutions architect. I am based in Zurich, Switzerland. I've been with Cisco since seven years, and I'm usually passionate to talk about software, cloud, and data center solutions. So today, we're going to be talking about how I've built the Cloud Native Stack and all the components of it. So today we're going to be looking at Terraform. I used Terraform as the tool for infrastructure as code provisioning. Using Terraform, I will be automating Intersight, which is going to be our cloud operations platform, um, and specifically two services from Intersight we're going to be using, uh, the infrastructure service and the Kubernetes service. In terms of hardware platform, I'm going to be deploying a Hyperflex system using Intersight. And Hyperflex is going to be the system that provides me the compute, networking, and storage. And at the end, for building the cloud native platform, of course, we're going to deploy Kubernetes on top of this Hyperflex cluster. So this is an overview of how the cloud native stack would look like. This is the architecture. As we can see, Cisco Intersight is the middle piece. And Cisco Intersight is going to be handling the infrastructure software piece, which is going to be the virtualization and the infrastructure hardware piece. So installing the Hyperflex system and as well uh, deploying the Kubernetes clusters on top of VMware ESXi. In the future, we will be able as well to use the public clouds to do consistent deployments of Kubernetes clusters. So these are the four steps required and these are the four parts of my demo. Uh, today, we're going to be talking specifically about step two and step three. Um, deploying the hardware infrastructure from Intersight. So I'm going to be using Terraform with infrastructure as code to provision the policies required to deploy uh, Hyperflex. And then we're going to be deploying together an IKS cluster on-prem on top of the Hyperflex system. So let's jump right into it. So first, I need to download the code from my repository on GitHub. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to clone the repository, Cloud Native Stack. Then I need to prepare my environment uh, in order to authenticate with uh, Intersight. Terraform needs, of course, a private key. So let me just put that private key. I have it in this file, Intersight PEM. Then I need to set two environment variables. So I'm going to be setting this TFVAR API key. Here you need to put your own API key string that you fetched from Intersight when you generated the key. Now the private key secret key file, that's intersight.pem. Let's see how it looks like and if I have the right files. Yes, so I have intersight.pem and I have as well the two environment variables defined. So the tfvar secret key file and tfvar API key. Perfect. Now let's take a look into the code. Perfect. So from the code, we have here a folder which is called infra and the two steps. So I'm going to be deploying Hyperflex. Uh, here in this file, you will see all the Hyperflex profile and all the parameters required for your own Hyperflex system. So you would need to go to all these parameters, edit them, and set it for your own environment. Same thing also for the Kubernetes cluster. You have this Kubernetes.tf file. You need to go through all the parameters. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Once I've edited my Hyperflex profile with all the parameters that I have in my environment, I need to put the no op on the cluster profile, and we will go and apply this configuration using Terraform. So I jump to that folder. Then I'm going to run a Terraform init to initialize the module. This is going to download my provider. Perfect. Everything went fine. Then Terraform plan. This plan is going to connect to Intersight and is going to fetch the difference. Perfect. Now he needs to add nine objects. That's what he's telling me. And I'm going to just apply this configuration. Yes. Good. So now it went ahead and created all the policies into Intersight. Apply complete. Let's jump now to Intersight and see the Hyperflex cluster profile. Yes, I have it here created, Cloud Native Stack Hyperflex. Good, now I'm going to jump back to the code and I'm going to change the cluster profile action from no op to validate. So I want to run now a validation 
if all the policies that I have are actually valid and everything is okay in terms of configuration. So we're gonna run again, Terraform apply. Okay, it shows from no op to validate, that's the change, I accept it. And now the validation is completed. Once the validation is completed, we need to change this parameter to deploy. And I'm gonna be applying again, this time with the deployment. Now I've paused the video and the, the deployment actually took longer. So what you're gonna see after the deployment completes is exactly this screen. So I went ahead and deployed it. Uh, it took two hours and 48 minutes for my cluster. I had a Hyperflex cluster with four nodes configured. And this is uh, the screen that you're gonna see once the cluster is deployed. Now, once you have the cluster deployed, this means your infrastructure is ready and we can jump to Kubernetes. So here I've added, again, all the parameters required for my Kubernetes cluster. And that's target deployment. I'm gonna use, of course, the Hyperflex cluster. So deploying Kubernetes now, same story, same steps. I'm gonna run an init. It's gonna download the Cisco DevNet Intercept provider. Then again, Terraform plan. And let's see what's gonna happen. Perfect, so we have to add 11 policies for my, for my Kubernetes cluster profile. Terraform apply. Yes, I'm gonna apply them. And it went ahead and added 11 resources. Let's jump to Intersight and see if my Kubernetes cluster profile is there. Yes, it is there, Cloud Native Stack, Kubernetes, undeployed changes, perfect. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna change the cluster profile action to deploy on my Kubernetes cluster, and I'm gonna trigger via infrastructure code Terraform the deployment of the cluster. So I run Terraform plan again, just to check what are the differences. So is that the change that I've made? No op to deploy, Terraform apply, and we're gonna wait for the Kubernetes deployment to start. One changed, one object changed. And now if I go back to Kubernetes, I see that the task is pending and it's in progress. So now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and we're gonna go through all the steps of the deployment. So we see the time rolling quite fast and this is how it looks like actually the whole deployment. So it's gonna go through all the steps required. It's gonna deploy quite a lot of objects and then when it's done, we're gonna see exactly this screen. So it took 25 minutes. And here what I deployed, I have a Kubernetes cluster with three control plane nodes and 30 worker nodes. Now let's check this as well in the infrastructure. So I'm going to vCenter to check if all the VMs have been created. Logging in. So I have there my Hyperflex cluster with the four nodes, and I have the control plane and the workers. All of the machines are powered on. Everything looks okay. Now let's log in to one of the control plane nodes of Kubernetes, and let's see what is the status of the Kubernetes nodes. So we're gonna do a kubectl, get nodes. And I can see here that all my nodes are ready. So deployment was successful. Um, that's pretty much it for the demo. You see how easy it is to build uh, with infrastructure as code and intersight uh, the, the whole cloud native stack. If you wanna get in touch with me, you can uh, see that GitHub repo. So you can check the GitHub repo with all the code that I used in this demo. If you wanna reproduce that into your environment, I think it's quite easy. Um, I've added for you as well, a link to the intersight dashboard and the Terraform provider for Intersight. If you see any issues, uh, please submit an issue directly on GitHub or get in contact with me with the email address shared on the GitHub repo. I hope you enjoyed this demo and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event of DevNet Create. Thank you for your attention.